Boom. What's going on? Good morning to you guys. I was just watching that guy. He had a uh, backpack in his truck and he literally just soaked it down in alcohol and sanitizer. I mean, it's amazing what the government and the TV can do to the mind, the power that it, it can brainwash people that bad that they feel like they need to douse backpacks and school supplies and alcohol and sanitizer because there's some boogeyman out there to get them. God, thank you. Powers to be. Thank you for sending me knowledge that I just don't even deserve to have to understand what is going on. Is it complete? But anyways, Mr. Bark's at it. Mr. Bark. Well, good Thursday morning to you. I'm going to try to get through this vlog real quick on explaining what I'm doing this morning with uh, without being annoying Mr. Bark in the background. But I'm planting more seeds, getting some more basils and plants, melons, cucumbers, all that stuff planted in the ground. Got a bunch of seeds right here. If anybody needs seeds, I got thousands and thousands. I'd like to do some seed trading with some people. So make this the seed exchange if you will i'm also going through my toolbox that got sent to me from texas and our shipping and i'm doing some cleaning on it and it sounds crazy but we're kind of like downsizing again before we move just maybe clearing out some of the stuff that we don't need as you can see we've kind of gone through some of the boxes and set them aside because we're about to well pack them back up and move again but uh, anyways I am totally taking it easy today and relaxing as much as I can with uh, the annoying dogs in the background at least. But uh, I'm doing no trading. I'm doing pretty much nothing. I'm really only going to do a vlog because, well, I tell you guys that I promised you guys a vlog Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So that's what I'm doing. But if it wasn't for these vlogs, I wouldn't be doing this either. Uh, my wife told me I needed to take the day totally off and just relax. And so she's the boss. I got to listen to her. And that's what I'm going to do today. Taking the day off. All right, y'all. I've been chilling all day long. Just cleaned up the patio a little bit. Cleaned up the downstairs. Cleaned up over here. And uh, I think that's it for everything today. For vlogging. I'm just going to take the day off and do nothing. What's going on, everybody? It is actually now Friday morning on the island. Yesterday, like I said, I got on video for a little bit, and I told you I was taking the day off. There was just so much going on. And the wife said, hey, bro, you just need to take a day off. So that's what I did. And she was damn right. She was right. I'm glad I did. Actually took a nap yesterday hung out with the family all day long and just did I will I say nothing I did clean up around here and do some things but and make make some dinner and I, did, I didn't totally do nothing but for compared to what I usually do I did absolutely nothing and it felt great and so it was much needed and uh, now it's about 6 7 a.m. here the next morning I felt really well rested and uh, I figured I'd come on video real quick before I uploaded it and just say you know sorry sometimes there's gonna be vlogs like that but uh, I do appreciate all y'all tuning in and sorry this one is so short um, I, I do want to let people know though if you um, if you have a business here on the island and you would like to promote it through the channel please reach out to me any small local businesses only that want to um, <clears throat> promote their business through the channel please reach out to me or anything like that in particular I would love to support some small local businesses here on my channel so I really appreciate the love and the support all y'all continue to give I hope you guys have a blessed blessed weekend and uh, I don't really know what we're gonna do this weekend I'm just gonna really hang out with the kids though because uh, they leave Wednesday early Wednesday morning but anyways y'all um, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm out of here for my weekend. I'll actually make this video a little useful. I'll throw in some tips here that I've learned about living on the island just so I don't waste y'all's time. One tip that you can find out is, well, a tip that a lot of people know, but a tip maybe 
others don't know, and that's moving here. If you want to move to the island, you don't need a visa or um, a passport or anything like that. This is uh, a territory of the U.S., so people come to the island with no visa. All you just need is an ID to get on the plane or, or your boarding pass or whatever. So do you need a passport to come to Puerto Rico? No. No, you don't need a passport to come to Puerto Rico if you're from the United States, okay? And people from the island travel to the United States with no visa or no um, <clears throat> passport. And that's how it should be everywhere. People should be free to travel where the hell they want, when the hell they want. Why the hell does government have a say in where people can migrate? That's beyond me. Anyways, okay. So, yeah, if you want to move here and you're coming from the United States, it's like moving to another state. So if you're moving from Michigan to Puerto Rico, it's like moving from Michigan to California or Michigan to Hawaii, for that matter, because that's an island. But anyways, so if you want to say Hawaii, yeah, it's like moving to Hawaii because only, only Hawaii is a state. This is a territory, but in a sense, it's still the same rules about moving to and from. So... A little bit of tip if you didn't know um, another cool little fact about the island here is uh, some of the sports that they're involved in boxing is really big here on the island uh, biking like cycling with um, you know like us uh, like Lance Armstrong cycling um, that stuff is really popular here baseball is super popular here there's so many uh, Puerto Rican stars that go to the major leagues that come off, come from the island. So huge on their sports. I've even actually heard, and I don't know if this is true, 100% true, but I've actually heard that each uh, Pueblo, like uh, Las Marias or Mayaguez or San Juan or um, Aguadilla, Rincon, they each have their own like top boxing person or top uh, cyclist that represents their Pueblo. And so I think that's pretty cool. So sports are really big out here in PR. And uh, the main ones are boxing, baseball, and cycling, um, from what I understand. Um, I see a little bit of soccer, and um, but, but not much. It's, it's really... Um, and then, of course, the, the surfing and the, the water sports. And I please excuse me for anybody that I forgot about the water sports. Scuba diving is huge here, too, and diving and stuff like that. But anyways... Just wanted to leave you with these tad bits of information. Didn't want to leave this vlog totally blank and nothing. So here's a little bit of tips about the island of Puerto Rico, okay? So um, another thing when you come here, um, uh, I will tell you that things move a little bit slower. So I know I'm from like Dallas, Texas, Houston, Texas area. Some people come from New York or Las Vegas or whatever the case. Oh, Mr. Bark is at it again over here. He's barking early in the morning he'll they only bark at their owners but anyways back to what i was saying <laughs> uh if you if you come here expect things to move a little bit slower um you know don't expect to get 10 things done in one day you know try to make a goal for like two and then um if you accomplish two things like maybe you need a driver's license and gro grocery shopping or something like that just know things move a little bit slower here on the island and um, that's just the island speed. So anyways, those are the facts and the tips that I can give you today. Y'all have a blessed weekend. I'm out of here.